Hello and welcome back to another multiplayer battle. I'm currently playing the Vampire Count, and if you want to know my build, I'll have it linked down below. Let's go check it out real quick. Here's my Grave Guard. If we go look at the map right now, I'm actually not playing the Vampire Count, so I was only kidding. I'm playing Chaos. Hey, hey, how's it going? I brought in a Shagoth, and we're going after Hex Race over here, who are trying to flank us for whatever reason. I'm bringing in Chaos Warriors, Archeon the Ever Chosen. I've got my Chaos Giant. My Warriors are moving in, too. But Tokshin's actually playing the Vampire Counts, not me. I brought in a lot of armored trolls. I liked them. They're pretty sturdy. We're fighting one Empire player shooting at us with the Hellblaster volley gun. Oh, what a change. A General of the Empire. Illuminarch of Heesh. Then over here, we've got a Vampiris on a Hellsteed. A Mortis Engine. We did a bit of damage to the Hex Race, but not enough to actually take down their number. But we did damage. Here comes my Shagol. And there's Illuminarch. Now hitting beautiful Archeon. I'm like, oh crap. Can't let that happen. Not again. My halberds are being hit, but that isn't really important. Do you know how I gauge that? Well, that. That is how. Giant magic flame storm. I wanted to kill their crew or distract them. Oh hey, you have no torso. I was gonna hope it would fall into their there we go. There we go. Come on, fall into their line a little bit more. And another fire spell again. I end up using a lot of fire spells in order to damage them with Archeon. It was actually a different scenario for me. I probably could have planted it a little bit further into their line, but I did get rid of that crew. That way they couldn't shoot at me the entire time, or that would have been bad. I'm letting my trolls now break through their line, because I mean they're only swordsmen, not spearmen or halberds. They're very cheap. We're all clashing in right now. That Luminarch is gearing up the fire again. A lot of zombies up here, way too many. I mean, you're meant to use them to kind of distract your foe, but we're beyond that point now. That's a little bit much. I've got my Giant moving in, my Shagoth moving in. The Shagoth and Giant combo is really effective. One's a little bit slower, causes terror. You cause terror too, but you move a lot faster. A lot faster, I mean, check that out. Boom, and now I'm trying to move in a few more warriors to actually flank. And here comes my Chaos Sorcerer. I don't even know why I brought him. I could have just brought Archeon for all my fire spells, but I did. And if you look at it, they are debuffed to hell. I mean, we, they are getting hit right now from every side. They cannot do a lot. They have a few demigriffs, but I mean, we're at the point of no return already. There is not a lot for them to do. Let's go look over here real quick. Let's go find out how the battle's going right now. We are flanking around them. I'm pushing right through. I had a feeling I could break right through them, and I could. They didn't have a lot to stop me. I could just kind of charge right through, make them shatter, make them break. The Luminarch barely got any kills. It did hit Archeon once, but who cares? Here's my Giant over here, 36 kills already. My Shagoth, 14 kills. Took a bit of damage. That's okay, too. I've got plenty of, you know, beefy units. I've got Tokshin who's beginning to move in. If you want to know my build, I do have a link down below as well. Swordsmen are now beginning to collapse. I mean, they're not going to be here for very long. Halberds are able to stop us for a time period, but they are fighting other infantrymen who are better. They're betters. Over here, we have Tokshin using zombies to kind of bind back our foe, which is great. That's actually a great call. We've got more of his army moving in right now. We're looking at a lot of Black Knights, which he's able to use quite effectively. And a Dire Pack, which has anti-large. Anti-large for a Dire Pack is very powerful. Here's what you do with that. You have your Cav move in, right? They are entangled. You use your Dire Pack to then flank, and they will do a lot of damage immediately. Over here, we've got Felbats, and they're only fodder, really. I mean, they're good at taking out range, but they're fodder. I use them to entangle or catch foes. That way, my main army can come beat them. We're looking at more of a debuff. I mean, check that out. They are fleeing right now. They're not getting very far. The Demigriff Knights are here. They killed three. I've got a beautiful Terror Geist helping me out over here, causing terror. They did a lot of damage. Ooh, and there we go. Nice blow by my Shagoth. We're looking at a guy being swung around like a freaking mechanical bull. Yeah, dirty, dirty man, you. He's not dead, though. Not yet. He will be. I've killed a lot of people. A lot of people. And already we've begun to tear right through them. I mean, those fire spells did not help them out at all. That really provided a nice basis, a good foundational hit to their leadership in order to break them. And the Luminarch? Well, that's over here. Thankfully, I had Tokshin playing as a, you know, a vampire camp player. I mean, I didn't tell him to, but he chose to. But it's just really effective to have them fight each other. That way, I can move in and flank and do more damage because, I mean, I can break. He's unable to break. He can crumble over time, but he won't break. 
Okay, I'm chasing after the Demogriff Knights right now, who were barely utilized. I mean, really what happened here, you had two players who weren't forming up together. I hit so hard. I had such a solid army. I love my current build. Now, I'm going to let you know, it's limited in number. You can easily lose, but let me tell you, Archeon is incredibly good now. He wasn't good initially, but now, oh, hell yeah. He's very good now. He's got very powerful... Spell. Oh, look at that. An orgy of blood. Beautiful. When you have that much blood, you gotta say it in a dramatic way. I'm reforming a bit. I like to stay in formation wherever I can. That Terror Geist is really doing some damage. We're looking at a few great swords who are not really being utilized. The Vampire Count players all bundled up into one location. Bad for the Grave Guard. We're looking over here, fighting the Hex Race, and look at that. He did what I said would be good. Black Knight's charging in, binding them up. Now we have Dire Pack moving in with their anti-large, destroying them completely. Ethereal or not, they will not be getting very far. Alright. There's a vampire. And we're all around them. The human player is pretty much done for. He's going to have a few fleeing units. And fortunately, the Felbats are actually chasing them, harassing Demogriff Knights, which is pretty funny. The Luminarch... I actually made it out. Got a lot of kills. Holy hell, that was effective. That's what we get for letting that play out. I'm letting my sorcerer go after that Luminarch. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get rid of it before it's able to fire again. I don't know for sure, but that's really dangerous. I think Tokshin saw it too and was like, hey, we can't let that happen again. That was way too many kills. There we go. It's gone. We're back over here again. It's a giant mosh pit. We don't always get a mosh pit battle, but we're definitely getting a mosh pit battle today. Won't lie, Warhammer multiplayer is one of my favorite multiplayer games to play. It really is. Like, it's just exciting. You don't know what's going to happen in each battle. Oh, well, I mean, I do. I usually do. We don't lose a lot. No, I'm not being pretentious about it. I mean, I know that we're just, like, playing people on the net, but we do pretty well. One versus one, 2v2, and it's not just because of everyone being bad. It's just because we have a pretty firm understanding of the game. We play a lot. We play a lot. I mean, if we weren't okay at the game and explaining what was going on, I mean, like, the big part is, when I go, when I show you guys a loss, I will go over why I lost, because I understand why. It's just a matter of learning to become better on how to counter things. I'm accumulating knowledge to become that better player. And that's how it should go. But, I enjoy it a lot. I've been playing a lot of Warhammer multiplayer. And really, there isn't much more to explain here. I mean, it's just kind of like a battle to the death here, fighting one Vampire Count player. If we look at it right now, we severely outnumbered them. We began with nearly identical numbers, and that changed up. Again, one player alone was fighting two players for the most part. I mean, Tokshin was largely fighting the Vampire Count player, but he used a lot of mobility to go all over the map. Demogriff Knights, I mean, they have anti-large, but they're very weak now. Black Knights will beat them, 83, and they're very cheap, too. Black Knights are very cheap, so for him to use it like that was very good. I don't remember casting a spell or why I did that. That feels dangerous. Was that even me? Yeah, that had to have been me. It's a burning skull. Huh. I don't know why I did that. Okay, well, weird moment. General of the Empire going away. My Sorcerer four kills. A waste of gold, actually, I found out. Because Archeon was able to do so much. I like to cast double fire spells. I mean, I can do a lot of damage. Kind of wasteful, but it can kill a lot of soldiers, too. Very cheap ones, anyway. And we're just cleaning up at the moment. Won't lie. Morse's engine. Ooh, that sound effect is so fucking loud. Ah, I hate it. I'm going to turn down my audio a little bit. Damn, that's loud. I don't even like to zoom in. Like, that's why I'm not zooming in close to it, because I don't, I don't want to hear it. Oh, no wonder we have so many over here. <laughs> We have three total. He brought in two? Are you kidding me? No, no, no. Never bring in two. One is good, okay? But you need a actual army to support you. The Vampire Cat player just had way too much not supported. It wasn't a cohesive fighting force. You want your elements of your army to work together. If they do not, you're not going to get very far with it. My Archeon got how many kills? Let's go find that real quick. 124, not bad. And a pirate victory. They left eventually. But that is how we won. I barely lost anyone. Tokshin lost a lot more. But he was fighting a much, I don't know, a much more annoying foe. A fellow Vampire Count player. A very annoying foe because of that. Looking at Zankris. Oh, he brought in Vlad. Yeah, Vlad's usually very strong. He brought in way too many zombies. I would say two to three will be your max at all. Right. 
He didn't bring anything with staying power. Graveguard would have been much better to bring. The Cryptors are okay. Now, the Mortis engine's got a lot of kills, but they're expensive and they're not going to win you your entire war without a supporting army. If you look at my army real quick, I took a lot of damage. Probably from that Luminarch of Heesh. I didn't need to bring you at all. You were a waste of gold. I could have even brought in some Chaos Marauders. I didn't bring in any Chaos Marauders. I usually do as fodder to kind of take on the brunt of the first attacks, but I got a pretty average amount of kills all over. Ooh, quite a bit for you, nearly 200. Toshin over here, pretty balanced out. His Varric's Reavers were very effective. Okay, and over here for the Empire player, if you look at that, he only got a lot of kills whenever that Luminarch was able to get a good hit in. Beyond, well, you know that, he kind of got thrashed completely. All right, well, that will conclude the battle. I believe tomorrow I'm going to have a epic battle. You've got to check it out. I forgot about it. It's a three versus three. I played it with two other pubs, and we're fighting three dwarf players. Let me tell you, it's worth watching. It's one of my finest battles, and I love it so much, and it's really cool to watch. So make sure that you check it out tomorrow at 2 p.m. U.S. Central. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like down below. I hope you enjoyed my content, and as always, until then.